That's the easy way to reset your Atari 5200 game. Just turn the power off and restart it. Pole position for the Atari 5200. Here's a game that is dramatically better than the Atari 2600 game cartridge. Pole position on the 5200 is a lot of fun to play and works quite well with the Atari 5200 analog joystick. You can steer gradually or all the way. Not bad. Also, you're not hammering any buttons repetitively. You simply hold down the lower of the two 5200 buttons to accelerate and the top button breaks. I should watch how I say that. All the 5200 buttons break. The top button simulates the brake pedal in the car. That's some fine driving right there, threading the needle in pole position. Wait a second, weren't those some sounds from Dig Dug? Hey, both these games are from Namco. Pole Position is an old school arcade classic from 1982. It found its way onto the Atari 2600 and the Atari 5200. I had the 2600 version. And I'm glad to see that even though the graphics are enhanced a bit here for the 5200 version, and the analog control for steering is actually quite nice, when your car hits something, it explodes into a fiery ball of pixels. Everything should explode like that. Pole Position is a challenging game because it gives you very little leeway. If you touch anything, you explode. In the race, you have to complete each lap in a certain amount of time. If you run out of time, you lose. It's like most arcade-style racing games, like OutRun. Except if you bump anything, like a sign or another car, forget it, you're not going to complete the race. You'll have to start over and try again, but since this game has an arcade heritage, you can see where they're coming from, they're going to want more quarters. Because of that, Pole Position is not really one of my favorite arcade racing games. I, I greatly prefer OutRun, which gives you a little bit of flexibility so you can at least bump things at a slower speed. But for straight up old school driving arcade challenge, Pole Position delivers. And the 5200 version is surprisingly good. You still get one track, this recreation of Fuji, but the controls, the presentation, overall gameplay are remarkably good on the 5200, much better than the 2600 version. Well, I could have probably driven a better race, and even with one crash, made it through, but uh, the game's tough. And a nice one. If you have a 5200, I'd check this one out. It certainly won't cost you that much. Pole Position has some of the best artwork of any video game. The 2600 version and the 5200 version have amazing packaging designs. So check it out. Pole Position. And don't forget the greatly improved sequel, Pole Position 2, which is on the Atari 7800. 